Here's the Alaskan Railroads Coastal Classic, pulling into Seward, Alaska, all the way from Anchorage. If you haven't seen that video, please check it out. I loved it, and so will you. Everybody loves trains. Even these campers waving us, welcome to Seward. Awesome. And that's a Silver Seas cruise ship. Not mine. I'll be picking mine up tomorrow morning as Royal Caribbean's Radiance of the Seas as we take seven nights and go from Seward to Vancouver with some amazing stops in between. Please be sure to check those videos out too. First stop I made was right at the Tidewater Tap House, right there at the train station. Excellent beer. And it was my first time to Seward, so I really wasn't sure where to stay. So I picked a hotel that was near the harbor because I know that's where the cruise ship would be. It's only about a 10 minute walk to the hotel that I stayed at, the Breeze Inn. There's also a hotel closer called the Harbor 360, both pretty uh, popular. But next time I want to go downtown, I didn't realize there even was a downtown or that there was a free shuttle that would take me there. The shuttle is free and it goes to about 14 different places, most of them along the harbor and then downtown. It even takes you to the Seward Military Resort, which I want to stay at next time. I didn't even know about it until uh, I was about three days away from flying into Anchorage. And then I saw it on the web and they were all full up. They did have one camping spot available, so if you're into camping and you qualify for a military resort, that'd be a good place to try it. Book it a year in advance. I plan on doing exactly that next year when I plan my next Alaskan Railroad journey. From the looks of this shuttle, it does take luggage. That's why the plywood was up there to keep the luggage from smashing the windows. There were a lot of campgrounds in Seward. I always have a dream that one day I'm going to drive my camper all the way up there. And if I do, Seward's one of the places I'll be camping at. The entire loop on the free shuttle only takes about a half an hour. It takes you to the downtown area, which I definitely want to check out one of these days. It had a beautiful looking lake, which was a lot closer to the hotel than I thought it was. There's also a beautiful Sea Life Center, which is an aquarium. Definitely want to check that out. After the run downtown, you end up back at the Harbor Center area where there's more restaurants and hotels, a uh, Harbor Masters building that actually has public bathrooms and showers right there in that Harbor Masters office. A lot of gift shops, places to book tours from kayaking, uh, going up to the Exit Glacier, which really isn't that far away. And probably the biggest tour of them all the Kenai Fjord tour. A lot of people I was on the train with coming in from Anchorage were coming to Seward just to do that tour. And then when it's finished, they go back and catch the train at about six o'clock and head back to Anchorage. Now that's a full day. And one more item to put on my list of what I visit next time. That and a saltwater fishing expedition. That would be great. Now, right at the flag and anchor in the center of the harbor is a memorial to the earthquake of 1964. I guess that was devastating. I heard a lot about that on the trolley tour that I took up in Anchorage. Fishing is definitely the thing to do here in Seward and definitely on my list for the next time I visit. Hey, I did find a four-leaf clover. Maybe that'll bring me luck on my fishing trip. It bring me luck on the cruise. Another fun thing to do at the center harbor is visit the visitor center. It's actually a museum, and they have beautiful artifacts in there, a lot of history of the area, and even a movie that tells you about the history. The book and paintings that were inspired by his stay brought the beauty of this remote place to public view. But yeah, Seward's one of the many places in Alaska where I wish I had had more time to spend. Well, I can always go back, and I definitely will. I just love walking around the boardwalk. A lot of stuff to do and see. So many ideas for my next trip. And some great food. Ray's Waterfront was fantastic. I had a great beer and an amazing halibut sandwich. Beautiful. Great scenery here, right on the water. So after my fantastic lunch, I decided to just do a little bit of more walking around the harbor before I had to go back and check into the hotel because you can't check in until after three. And that's where I could print my luggage tags. No color printer though. Look at that eagle. They were everywhere. I wish I got a better close up. This place was so beautiful that even the low clouds and 
even some fog, just made it even more beautiful. Looking forward to that cruise in the morning. Okay, here I am at the Seward cruise port terminal. It was just a 15 minute walk from the Breeze Inn. And when you get here, the baggage drop off is over there. Pretty easy walk. A little bit of gravel when you hit the parking lot, so you, if, you, if you want to take the shortcut. But even with uh, one medium sized bag and a heavy backpack, wasn't too bad getting the steps in. Pretty soon I'll be on board. Radiance of the Seas. Okay, it's uh, 11 in the morning, a little bit after. My boarding time is not until 5.30 supposedly, so I think I'm gonna walk over to the free shuttle area and go back in town. I might try to check in and see if I can get in now. It's beautiful here. I got tired of waiting for the shuttle, so I started to walk back downtown. And then I saw people coming in and out. So I figured, hey, I better go ask somebody. Well, I didn't have to wait till five at all. I just walked up, said, lady said, do you want to check in? I said, if it's possible, I'd rather not walk back to town with my 30 pound backpack. She said, come on in, loving this. Let's go. Those last few overlays up there, they're just a hint of things to come on this upcoming amazing cruise all the way to Vancouver down the Inside Passage. I hope you like this video, and like always, I hope you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.